Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I was tagged by the beautiful Steffi from my Beauty YouTubers Unite group on Facebook. If you are a beauty YouTuber and you have not checked out this group yet, I will link them down below. You should go check it out. We're just a bunch of girls doing beauty videos and we talk on Facebook and we support each other. We post you know, links to tags and offers to do collaborations and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're new to YouTube or if you just want to join a group of girls who are really cool, I will link it down below here. But Steffi decided to do a new tag called the I Heart My Basics tag. And I know that there was another basics tag that happened before, but this is not the same thing. Basically, basically, the I Heart My Basics tag, and she did the same thing in her video, which is kind of funny, but anyway. Basically, you're gonna go through all of like your basic products that you love, that you like, you know, use all the time, you couldn't live without. So I have my little jar here. This is my jar. Yeah, there's a deodorant in there. Because honestly, I love this stuff and need to talk about it. But yeah, so this is my jar. So I'm gonna go through everything that's in here and tell you guys about each product. And if you wanna do this tag, I tag all of you. I tag all the women from Beauty YouTubers Unite who watch my channel to do this. Leave it as a video response or comment and leave your link. I will go and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start with the basics basics. My two favorite basics are both from Rimmel. They are a matching set. I love this foundation and I love this concealer. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation in the color number 100 Ivory. I had to make sure, because sometimes it's like buff for a bunch of other weird colors. But 100 Ivory, it is the lightest shade they carry and of course I am very, very light, so this works perfectly for me. And the concealer, I have it in the color 125 Very Fair, hence the, you know, very light complexion. These are amazing, they are hydrating. If you have dry skin, I probably wouldn't use this, just because it, um, it gives you a radiant glow. It does, it's very dewy, and so if you have dry skin, it can make you look a little bit oily. I have tried it on a couple people who have dry skin who don't like the look. And both the concealer and the um, foundation are formulated the same, so they both give you that kind of shimmery, you know, dewy glow, so you may not want to try this if you have oily skin, but if you have dry skin or even normal skin, you'll probably love this stuff, and it's drugstore. You can't go wrong with drugstore. So next thing I'm going to pull out is that deodorant. These are, this is the new Dove Clear Tone Skin Renew Antiperspirant. So for those of you who don't know what the Clear Tone line is, if you have dark circles under your armpits, which I kind of do, just because I had gestational diabetes and it causes a little bit of dis discoloration, this will actually help to kind of exfoliate that skin off so that it goes back to being really smooth and the same color as the rest of your body. It's the same with like your elbows, why they're a little darker, and your knees. It just doesn't get enough moisture there. So I'm really loving this. This is my second um, tube of it. This is, um, it says unique formula, but I think, I think the difference is there's like a Skin Renew and there's another one. So this is the Skin Renew. It doesn't smell like super amazing. It doesn't smell bad, but it's got kind of a stronger scent because it has sunflower seed extracts and colindula, colindula, I think is how you say it. But I mean, it is amazing. My armpits definitely feel smoother. I know that's probably way too much information, but I like this stuff, so you guys should go and check it out. Mascaras, I could not pick one, so I picked two. Both of them are Maybelline, which I thought was really weird. No high-end, but I do have high-end mascaras. Not saying I don't have any high-end mascaras, but... Out of my two favorites, like if I couldn't ever use another mascara, these are the two I would use. And they're completely different. This is the Maybelline Falsies Flared. And I like the flare because I love the brush. It's kind of that curved round moon shape brush. And I find it really gets into the lashes and helps lift and curl. And I don't curl my lashes. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's horrible. But I just, I have a natural curl to my lash. So a mascara that actually even helps that further, I don't need to curl them. So that's like my number one. And this is my number two. This is the Illegal Length fiber extensions and it has to be the fiber extension one I like anything that adds kind of a little bit of dimension to my lashes and gives it a little more volume this is just a straight brush but I do love this I find it doesn't clump a lot of people have tried this or I've seen some reviews on this they say it clumps I don't find clumping but I also wait in between quotes so I will do one eye I will wait do the other eye I will wait see how I like it and then I will reapply if I need to and normally one to two coats of this is enough and one coat of this is enough so those are my two like favorite basic mascaras. So now the next one kind of looks like a mascara, but it's not. This is the MAC Brow Set in the color Show Off. When I had, um, well, redder hair, it was kind of a deeper red. It's really grown out, as you can see, and I need to get it redone. But when I had the darker red, this looked perfect on my eyebrows. It's a mascara wand, and it has like a really cool kind of metallic brown color on it. And what you do is you just kind of gently comb this through your brows, 
and it will help to define them and also keep them in place. Segwaying right into my second favorite eyebrow product of all time, I've talked about this a bunch recently, this is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder Set, and this one is in the color ECP05 Brunette. Um, it comes with two different colors, a lighter brown and darker brown, both completely matte, and then this little bit of wax, which starts off white, but as you use it, it gets colored. You basically take a little angled brush, dip it into the two colors or one color, put it into the wax, and then apply it to your eyes. This is what I'm wearing on my eyebrows today. I find that it really helps define and keep stray brows in place. So on days when my brows are being ridiculous and refusing to do what I want, I'll use a little bit of this and it just totally calms them down. They stay exactly how they're supposed to and I really like it. And I think it's like 12 bucks. You can't, you know, like, I think it's 12. It's in the range of 7 to $12 depending on where you buy it. So this is really good stuff. Might as well stay with the eye products. I pulled two cream eyeshadows because in all honesty, depending on the day, I use one of these more than the other. The first one is Bare Study Paint Pot by MAC. This is beautiful. There are some dupes for this. There is a color tattoo dupe for this. Barely branded is almost identical, but I still like the MAC formulation one the best. Color tattoos are beautiful, but I find some of them can be a little streaky when you put them on. Where with paint pots, I never have that problem. They seem to set beautifully, and Bare Study is one of my favorites. Now from Benefits line, it's Skinny Jeans. And this is a beautiful, and I don't even know if you guys can get this one anymore because they reformulated all their cream eyeshadows and they got rid of a whole bunch of colors. But Skinny Jeans is a beautiful kind of antique gray bronze. It's really pretty on the eyelids. This is a perfect like all over the lid color. When you're in a rush and you don't wanna wear too much makeup, this is what I throw on with a little bit of mascara and a bright lip and out the door I go. We'll finish off the makeup and then I'll do my last two non-makeup products. My favorite blush of the moment, I, I wouldn't say it's a basic, but it's kind of what I use in most of my videos. It's limited edition, so I don't talk about it often because you can't find it anymore, but it's the Positively Pink Cheek Palette from Stila. And you can't buy this anymore, but it was the one for breast cancer. It had like the bright pink back and then the softer pink ribbons. And this is what I wear in most of my videos when I'm just kind of talking to you guys. But I don't really talk about it because you can't get it anymore. But it is one of my favorite blush colors of all time. And I've almost actually hit pan on it because I've used it so much. We'll finish off the makeup and then I'll do my last two non-makeup products. My favorite blush of the moment... I I wouldn't say it's a basic, but it's kind of what I use in most of my videos. It's limited edition, so I don't talk about it often because you can't find it anymore, but it's the Positively Pink Cheek Palette from Stila, and you can't buy this anymore, but it was the one for breast cancer. It had like the bright pink back and then the softer pink ribbons, and this is what I wear in most of my videos when I'm just kind of talking to you guys, but I don't really talk about it because you can't get it anymore, but it is one of my favorite blush colors of all time, and I've almost actually hit pan on it because I've used it so much. Last two makeup products and then into just a couple more beauty products for you guys. The Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. I honestly love them all, but these are my two favorite colors. My favorite new color is Juicy Papaya, which is the really pretty kind of mellow melon orange color. I'm wearing this today. Um, I love it. It's just natural. This is like an easy throw in your bag, put on your lips and go color. And then from the old line is Sweet Tart. This is a beautiful kind of bright pink color. It's really beautiful on, doesn't need a whole ton of swiping, really pigmented, very creamy, beautiful on the lips. I'm almost done that one, which makes me kind of sad. I'll have to go pick up another one because I don't know what shades they're discontinuing, but I know that they are discontinuing some shades to bring in the new ones, so I better go pick up like the ones I love because I don't know if they're still going to be there. But these are my go-to lip product in all the colors. I always have one of these in my purse. They are so easy to wear and they are so moisturizing and look beautiful on. So. Revlon Colorless Lip Butters, like probably my favorite basic product of all time. And the last few products I'm going to talk about are both beauty related. The first one is the Popcorn Lip Scrub from Lush. This is, I think this one is limited edition because they have a whole bunch. I also have the Mint Julep one, I also have the Bubblegum one, but this one is my favorite. I have two extra jars of this. Oh my god, I can't get over it. This is like a beautiful, um, like sweet, salty taste on your lips. So when you put it on and you wash it off, if you want to wash it off, you don't have to. You can actually lick Lush scrubs right off your lips. But if you wash it off, it still leaves kind of a buttery taste on your lips, if that makes any sense. Like it's still very like sweet and salty, which I really like. So I love using this at night. This is like my go-to lip scrub at the moment. 
And then the last product is one I've been using for only a short while. This is just a travel size. I am going to pick up the full size, but I had like three of these travel sizes and I'm on the third one now and I'm about there. I just kind of started it. But this is the Tarte Pure, Pure Maracuja Oil. It has a little like pump, if you guys can see that, and then it drops out of here. You only need, I would say, like six drops of this for your whole face. I put this on before I moisturize at night not during the day. It is really oily and it doesn't absorb into your skin, but it also doesn't leave a residue on your pillow because I have mint green pillowcases and this does not show up on them, which is nice. But I basically wash my whole face off, do my toning, and then I apply this. I let it sit for about five minutes and then I'll put my moisturizer over top. Some nights I just use this, sometimes I use moisturizer and this. But this I find is really evening up my skin tone, it's brightening up my skin tone, it's like making my fine lines seem smoother. This is like amazing, I'm loving this stuff. This and some other stuff I'm using that I haven't talked about yet, just because so many beauty gurus were sent this stuff at one period in time, and they all did reviews at the same time, and I hate when they do that. And I wasn't sent mine, I purchased almost all of it except for one product I was sent. But I love the whole line and I've been using it, but I'm not going to talk about it until some time has passed and people are less like, oh my god, every beauty guru is talking about this because I don't want to annoy you guys with the same thing that everybody else is talking about. Anyway, enough of my rant. Hope you guys enjoyed this I Heart My Basics tag. These are the products I truly love all the time. These are products that I've had in my collection for the most part for I would say almost a year. I've used them for almost a year. I've loved them for almost a year. And if you want to do this tag video, feel free. What are your favorite basic products? What are the products that you use all the time that are just normal everyday products? Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.